that okay? Oh, I gotta pull this up. That's why. Testing one, two, three. Oh, yeah, that's. Good morning, everyone. Bienvenidos a todos. Gracias por su presencia. Thank you so much for coming together on this very great and happy day. My name is Mike Bertram, and I certainly want to welcome you on behalf of all that are here. Special welcome. Uh, Michael's family is in from Minnesota, and hay miembros de la Iglesia de Santa Chiara de Chicago aquí con nosotros también. There are members of St. Clair as well. Can we please give them a warm welcome with a nice round of applause? Thank you so much for traveling, for the sacrifice to be here today. I am just turning off my phone, and I encourage everybody to do the same so that we really can enjoy this great celebration in honor of Michael and in honor of God. Uh, just very practically, some of you have already discovered the restrooms. They are there off to your left, and please be careful, there's a little step there. But once you get up to the altar on your left, you'll see a restroom for both men and women. Hay los baños, especialmente para ustedes, a la izquierda. Okay, gracias. Um, notice in your booklet, we invite you to participate but in this time of COVID, we really would like to limit our singing a little bit, as we are told that singing is a little bit more dangerous when it comes to emitting particles that could be contagious and infectious. So please, if you see it printed in your booklet, please participate with us, but we will leave some music to just our musicians here at the front. Uh, it's an exciting day. Uh, if I can say anything, we are certainly happy for our brother Michael. However, if there is anyone who is likely more nervous than Michael today, I wonder if it isn't the bishop. We have Bishop Robert Lombardo with us from Chicago, an auxiliary bishop, and this is his first ordination. And it makes it all the more exciting for us and even something of an honor for us I would ask you all, would you please offer him a welcome with a great round of applause.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Good morning, everyone. It's a great joy for me to be with you here this morning. And on behalf of Brother Michael, his family, his blood family, and his religious family, the Capuchins here, I'd like to welcome all of you on this day that truly the Lord has made a day that is beautiful, when we recognize Almighty God has called you and you have responded and have prepared diligently for this day. In order for all of us to enter into the mystery of this moment, let us take some time in quiet to recognize those times when we have fallen into sin so that we could ask Almighty God for pardon and peace and enter more fully into this mystery. Lord Jesus, you are raising us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Cristo Jesús, tú perdonas nuestros pecados. Cristo, ten piedad. Cristo, ten piedad. Lord Jesus, you fill us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. O God, who were pleased to award the palm of martyrdom to your priest, St. Fidelis, as, burning with love for you, he propagated the faith, grant, we pray, through his intercession, that grounded in charity, we may merit to know him, the power of the resurrection of Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. First reading, a reading from the book of Leviticus. The Lord said to Moses, speak to the whole Israelite community and tell them, be holy for I, the Lord your God, am holy. You shall not hate any of your kindred in your heart. Reprove your neighbor openly so that you do not incur sin because of that person. Take no revenge and cherish no grudge against your people. You shall love your neighbors as yourself. I am the Lord, the word of the Lord. Thanks be. The Lord, hear the cry of the poor. Hear the cry of the poor, hear the cry of the poor, the Lord, hear the cry of the poor, hear the cry of the poor, hear the 
cry of the poor. திருத்தூதர் பவுல் திமேத்திவுக்கு எழுதிய இரண்டாம் திருமுகத்திலிருந்து இரண்டாம் வாசகம் தாவிதின் மரபில் வந்த இயேசு கிறிஸ்து இறந்து உயிர் பெற்று எழுந்தார் என்பதே என் அச்செய்தி இதனை நினைவு கொள் என் அச்செய்திக்காகவே நான் குற்றம் செய்தவனைப் போல சிறையிடப்பட்டு துன்புறுகின்றேன் ஆனால் கடவுளின் வார்த்தையை சிறைப்படுத்த முடியாது தேர்ந்து கொள்ளப்பட்டவர்கள் மீட்பையும் அதனோடு இணைந்த என்றுமுள்ள மாற்றுமையையும் இயேசு கிறிஸ்து வழியாக அடையுமாறு அனைத்தையும் பெற்றுக்கொள்கின்றேன் பின்வரும் கூற்று நம்பத்தகுந்தது நாம் அவரோடு இறந்தால் அவரோடு வாழ்வோம் அவரோடு நிலைத்திருந்தால் அவரோடு ஆட்சி செய்வோம் நாம் அவரை மறுதளித்தால் அவர் நம்மை மறுதளிப்பார் நாம் நம்பத்தகாதவர் எனினும் அவர் நம்பத்தகுந்தவர் ஏனெனில் தம்மையை மறுதளிக்க அவரால் இயலாது இவற்றை நீ அவர்களுக்கு நினைவுறுத்து என் போதனை நடத்தை நோக்கம் நம்பிக்கை பொறுமை அன்பு மன உறுதி ஆகியவற்றை பின்பற்றி வந்திருக்கின்றாய் அந்தியோக்கியாவிலும் இக்கோனியாவிலும் லிஸ்திராவிலும் எனக்கு நேரிட்ட இன்னல்களும் துன்பங்களும் உனக்கு தெரியும் இத்தகைய இன்னல்களை பொறுத்து கொண்டேன் இவை அனைத்திலுமிருந்தும் ஆண்டவர் என்னை விடுவித்தார் கிறிஸ்து இயேசுவிடம் இணைந்து இறைப்பற்றுடன் வாழ விரும்புவோர் அனைவரும் இன்னலுருவர் 
the word of the Lord. del Santo Evangelio según San Juan. En aquel tiempo, Jesús dijo, Yo soy el buen pastor. El buen pastor da su vida por sus ovejas, pero el que trabaja solamente por la paga, cuando ve venir al lobo, deja las ovejas y huye porque no es el pastor y porque las ovejas no son suyas. Y el lobo ataca a las ovejas y las dispersas en todas direcciones. Ese hombre huye porque lo único que le importa es la paga y no las ovejas. Yo soy el buen pastor, así como mi padre me conoce a mí y yo conozco a mi Padre. Así también yo conozco a mis ovejas y ellas me conocen a mí. Yo doy mi vida por las ovejas. También tengo otras ovejas que no son de este redil. Y también a ellas debo traerlas. Ellas me obedecerán y habrán un solo rebaño y un solo pastor. The word of the Lord. Our brother, Michael Dorn, who is to be ordained a priest, come forward. Most Reverend Father, Holy Mother Church asks you to ordain Michael Dorn, our brother, to the responsibility of the priesthood. Do you know him to be worthy? After inquiry among the Christian people and upon the recommendation of those responsible, I testify that he has been found worthy. Relying on the help of the Lord God and our Savior, Jesus Christ, we choose Michael, our brother, for the order of priesthood. Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Brother Michael, you have been chosen by Almighty God. And after your faithful response during these years of preparation, today you will be entrusted with a sacred duty to minister to God's people. 
I know that you're very grateful that your dad, your sister can be here, that your brother is able to watch via telecommunication. And this will be recorded for all of eternity as well. So if we make a mistake, just go forward. No one will know, except for everybody who has studied theology at CTU, and they will use this for how not to ordain a priest class. <laughs> Now, as you know well, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, priests are signed with a special character and are so configured to Jesus Christ, a high priest, that they have the power to act in the person of Christ. You will exercise this sacred duty by teaching and administering the sacraments, and above all, by acting in the person of Christ at the Eucharist, the Mass. This is both awesome and daunting. Yet keep in mind the words that our Lord spoke frequently. Be not afraid. Now, before I continue with this part of the homily, and just because I'm moving doesn't mean it's going to be a long homily, so fear not. Even though I spent 35 years as an itinerant preacher and doing parish missions, you have to at least give a 45-minute homily but that's not gonna to happen today, so we are not. But I wanna give you just a piece of advice that I got the day before that I was ordained. But before I do, I have to ask this question. Any faculty members from CTU here today? Whew. All right. The day before I was ordained, a long time ago, in New York, we met up at the seminary with Cardinal O'Connor. There were 19 in our class. And he talked to us for a while. I don't remember anything that he said, to be honest with you, except for one line. He said, fellas, after all the studying you've done, et cetera, et cetera, I'd just like to encourage you to remember one thing. Be kind to the people. Be kind to the people. After all that you've studied, and I have to be honest with you, I use almost none of it. I have to be careful because this is recorded. But, uh, <clears throat> you know, I don't. In day-to-day -day life, I really, I don't use that much. But if you're nice to people, if you're kind to people, it manifests the love of God. And that's so, so important. How many of you would agree with that? Let's just see by show of hands. All right, thank you. Could you send that camera around just to capture a little bit of this? So, because uh, this might be my first ordination and my last one. <clears throat> but look, I'm an honest engine. And Michael, you're gonna go out in a world full of people who are broken, who are wounded, they're hurting. And it's manifest in many, many ways, including indifference to God, and the things of God, including the church. Does this sound familiar from what you studied in your formation as a Capuchin Franciscan? Reminds me of the atmosphere in which our Holy Father, St. Francis, grew up, doesn't it? And yet, Jesus broke into the soul of St. Francis in a most unusual way, that moment when he was kneeling before the crucifix in the little church of San Damiano, speaking via the movement of the lips on the cross above the altar, Jesus communicated something to St. Francis. It was this message, very simply, Francis, rebuild my church, for as you see, it's falling into ruins. This encounter startled St. Francis into action First, fixing the physical church building, and then through his efforts to rebuild the church, the body of Christ, beginning with himself. As you remember and reflect on those words Jesus communicated to St. Francis, be aware that others interpret those words to mean, redesign my church. Sadly, 
We have over 33,000 different Christian denominations at the moment. That was at last count by the Vatican. And we're called by Jesus to gather all into one body. After all, Jesus did pray at the Last Supper that we all be one as he and the Father are one. And that's why I'm so glad that you chose for the gospel for today's Mass, the reading of the Good Shepherd, gathering the sheep into one flock. And what a responsibility that is. But again, remember the words of Jesus, be not afraid, I go before you always. He'll be there to support you. And you have the blessing of a wonderful Capuchin Franciscan community to assist. Personally, I think that as Franciscans, we are uniquely positioned to gather God's people into one family the gift of fraternity that we cherish. That gift of fraternity nurtures, sustains, and challenges us to grow in holiness, actually to become more like Jesus Christ. And we know that as we all draw closer to Christ, naturally, we draw closer to one another. When I do youth retreats, I always use simple analogies. Remember one time, a parent who was chaperoning asked if I had gone to the seminary. So actually when I found out that Father Solanus was ordained in this church, I thought what a wonderful coincidence because I was sort of like a simplex priest because I don't think that people need 75 cent words or $3.50 phrases, but a simple understanding that I use and I'll share it with you. And it's a bicycle wheel. And we all know that the further from the center that the spokes are, the further they are from one another. The closer the spokes get to the center, the closer they are to one another. And in the same way, we're called to draw people to Jesus. And in that way, we're drawn together. How much our culture yearns for unity. How much our culture yearns for healing lead them to Jesus. As you go forth to preach and teach, remember what we learn from our Holy Father, St. Francis, summarized in the phrase that has become famous down through the centuries. Go forth and preach and use words if necessary. Let the holiness of your life preach just as St. Francis exemplifies for us. I think it's wonderful that you're ordained on this day when we remember one of our great Capuchin Franciscan saints, St. Fidelis of Sigmaringen, a martyr. He gave it all. And that wasn't lost on me as I was rereading 2 Timothy, preparing for today's ordination mass, because St. Paul describes the hardships that he endured for the sake of the name of Jesus Christ. One last piece of advice, be prepared, the same awaits you. Be prepared, but be not afraid. You have a beautiful family. You have a wonderful fraternity. And look at that as a gift from God to give you encouragement and to give you strength to go out into the world and Model the ministry that God is going to entrust to you shortly on the Good Shepherd. You know, years ago I learned that the good thief, the one who was crucified next to Christ, is the patron saint of preachers because most preachers steal information and the good thief stole heaven at the last minute. So, I don't really have anything new to share with you. What do you say after 2,000 years of our Catholic faith? So I'm gonna share something that was presented to us by Cardinal O'Connor at my ordination many years ago in 1990. He used an analogy with us that we were bridegrooms. And he said, now, fellas, I'm gonna to speak to you about this bride whom you're gonna take this day. Any married specimens out there? None of them? All right. Well, this analogy may limp, but 
How many of you know married people? I hope so. He described his bride, our bride, this way. She's younger than springtime, but she counts her years and centuries. She's a startlingly beautiful bride, but she's deformed, disfigured with the wounds, the scars of Christ himself. She's weary with the centuries, ugly to those who do not know her as you know her. She will be to you a gentle, patient, and loving bride, but she can seem to you at times stubborn, unyielding, even harsh. She will be faithful to you, and yet at times she will seem to turn away from you, even to betray you. She will be a consoling and a comforting bride, but she will be an extraordinarily demanding bride. She will lay down her life for you, but she will demand your life in return. Please love God's people and be patient with them. Coming from a farming community, I was reminded of that as I was driving up from one metropolis to another, from Chicago to Milwaukee. There's a lot of territory in between. And you know that one must be patient while the crops grow. And in the same way, we must be patient as God's people grow. Grow in holiness, that is. I'll end with this from the conclusion of the homily given at my ordination. Finishing with the bridegroom analogy, the Cardinal said to us, as your bishop, I give you one mandate, love our church, love God's people, love them for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, love them until death, after which both you and they will be transfigured in glory. I love those words, and they've rung true throughout the years that I have had the privilege to be able to serve Almighty God and to do it within the context of the beauty of our Catholic faith, and to do it with the treasure of our Franciscan vocation. You have the best of both worlds, pal. What more could I tell you? God has given you tremendous blessings. And now he's gonna to continue to bless you. And he's gonna give you a responsibility because he's found you worthy. And that responsibility is to love his people. Mother Teresa, when asked what her work is, stated to love the poor back to life. I'd like to take that phrase and reconfigure it a bit I think for all of us in this church today that share the priesthood of the faithful, not only the ministerial priesthood, our challenge to love the church back to life. Let's accept that challenge and let's support one another and encourage one another as we take up that responsibility. Amen. Dear son, before you enter the order of the priesthood, you must declare before the people your intention to undertake this office. Do you resolve, with the help of the Holy Spirit, to discharge without fail the office of the priesthood in the presbyteral rank? 
as a worthy fellow worker with the order of bishops in caring for the Lord's flock. Do you resolve to exercise the ministry of the word worthily and wisely, preaching the gospel and teaching the Catholic faith? Do you resolve to celebrate faithfully and reverently in accord with the church's tradition, the mysteries of Christ, especially the sacrifice of the Eucharist and the sacrament of reconciliation for the glory of God and the sanctification of the Christian people? Do you resolve to implore with us God's mercy upon the people entrusted to your care by observing the command to pray without ceasing? Do you resolve to be united more closely every day to Christ the High Priest who offered himself for us to the Father as a pure sacrifice? Do you promise respect and obedience to the diocesan bishop and to your legitimate religious superior? I do. May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. My dear people, let us pray that God, the all-powerful Father, will pour out abundantly the gifts of heaven on this, his servant, whom he has chosen for the office of priest. Por favor, de pie. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Saint Michael, pray for us. Holy angels of God, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Peter and Saint Paul, pray for us. Saint Mary Magdalene, pray for us. Saint Francis of Assisi, pray for us. Saint Claire of Assisi. Saint Fidelis of Sigma Ringen, pray for us. Saint Felix of Cantalice, pray for us. Saint Lores of Brindisi, pray for us. Saint Leopold Mandich, pray for us. Saint Conrad of Parson, pray for us. Saint Pio of Pietrelcina, pray for us. Saint Veronica Giuliani, pray for us. Blessed Solanus Casey, pray for us. Blessed Florida Cevoli, pray for us. Servant of God, Maria Francesca Tici, Pray for us. Venerable Mary Constanza Panas. Pray for us. Saint Teresa of Calcutta. Pray for us. Blessed Carlos Acutis. Pray for us. Saint Catherine Drexel. Pray for us. Saint Catherine de Cagueta. Pray for us. Saint Therese of Lisieux. Pray for us. 
sent aid each time. Pray for us. Sent Oscar Romero. Pray for us. Saint Manuel Morales. Pray for us. Saint Laura Montoya. Pray for us. Saint Teresa of Los Andes. Pray for us. Saint Mariana of Jesus Paredes. Pray for us. Saint Rose of Lima. Pray for us. Saint Juan Diego. Pray for us. Saint Jose Luis Sanchez del Rio. Pray for us, all holy men and women, saints of God. Pray for us, Lord, deliver us, we pray. Lord, deliver us, we pray. Lord, be merciful. Lord, deliver us, we pray. From all evil. Lord, deliver us, we pray. From every sin. Lord, deliver us, we pray. From everlasting death. Lord, deliver us, we pray. By your coming among us. Lord, deliver us, we pray. By your death and rising to new life. Lord, deliver us, we pray. Be merciful to us sinners. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Guide and protect our holy church. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Keep the Pope and all the clergy in faithful service to your church. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Bring all peoples together in trust and peace. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Strengthen us in your service. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Bless this your chosen servant. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Bless him and make him holy. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Bless him, make him holy, and consecrate him for his sacred duties. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Jesus, Son of the living God, Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Christ, hear us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Hear us, we beseech you, Lord our God, and pour out on this servant of yours the blessing of the Holy Spirit and the power of priestly grace, that this man, whom in the sight of your mercy we offer to be consecrated, may be surrounded by your rich and unfailing gifts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Por favor, siente.
and eternal God, author of human dignity. It is you who apportion all graces. Through you, everything progresses. Through you, all things are made to stand firm. To form a priestly people, you appoint ministers of Christ your Son by the power of the Holy Spirit, arranging them in different orders. Already in the earlier covenant, offices arose, established through mystical rites, when you set Moses and Aaron over your people to govern and sanctify them. You chose men next in rank and dignity to accompany them and assist them in their task. So too in the desert, you implanted the spirit of Moses in the hearts of 70 wise men, and with their help, he ruled your people with greater ease. So also upon the sons of Aaron, you poured an abundant share of their father's plenty, that the number of the priests prescribed by the law might be sufficient for the sacrifices of the tabernacle, which were a shadow of the good things to come. But in these last days, Holy Father, you sent your son into the world, Jesus, who is apostle and high priest of our confession. Through the Holy Spirit, he offered himself to you as a spotless victim, and he made his apostles consecrated in the truth, sharers in his mission. You provided them also with companions to proclaim and carry out the work of salvation throughout the whole world. And now we beseech you, O Lord, in our weakness to grant us this helper that we need to exercise the priesthood that comes from the apostles. Grant, we pray, Almighty Father, that this your servant, the dignity of the priesthood, renew deep within him the spirit of holiness. May he henceforth possess this office which comes from you, O God, and is next in rank to the office of bishop, and by the example of his manner of life, may he instill right conduct. May he be a worthy co-worker with our order, so that by his preaching and through the grace of the Holy Spirit, the words of the gospel may bear fruit in human hearts and reach even to the ends of the earth. Together with us, may he be a faithful steward of your mysteries so that your people may be renewed in the waters of rebirth and nourished from your altar, so that sinners may be reconciled and the sick raised up. May he be joined with us, Lord, in imploring your mercy for the people entrusted to his care and for all the world. And so may the full number of the nations gathered together in Christ be transformed into your one people and made perfect in your kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thank you. 
from the Father with the Holy Spirit and power. Guard and preserve you, sanctify the Christian people, and offer sacrifice to Almighty God. receive the oblation of the holy people to be offered to God. Understand what you do, imitate what you celebrate, and conform your life to the mystery of the Lord's cross. Peace be with you. Congratulations. May they always be this happy in your presence. And peace be with each and every one of you. Please share with each other a sign of peace, always keeping social distancing. Hemos entregado nuestras vidas al Señor. No hay mayor bendición que ser de Él. Hemos entregado nuestras vidas al Señor. Y en la hora nos da dado vida eterna. Bendito sea el Señor por este pan, fruto de la tierra y el trabajo del hombre. Bendito sea el Señor por este vino que hemos recibido de tu amor y bondad. Y ahora, Señor, te presentamos el pan, el vino que tú convertirás en el cuerpo y sangre de tu Hijo Jesús, pan de vida y bebida de salvación. Señor, por este vino que 
hemos recibido de tu amor y bondad. Bendito sea el Señor por este pan, fruto de la tierra y el trabajo del hombre. Bendito sea el Señor por este vino que hemos recibido. Pray now, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look upon the sacrificial gifts we offer, Almighty God, on the feast day of St. Fidelis, and grant that we, who celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's passion, may imitate what we now do through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song of adoration. And we, with all the host of angels, cry out and without end we acclaim as they give up their lives for you and for the salvation of their brothers and sisters. They strive to be conformed to the image of Christ himself and offer you a constant witness of faith and love. Santo, santo, santo es el Señor, Dios del universo. Heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna in the cielo. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Anunciamos tu muerte, proclamamos tu resurrección. Ven, Señor Jesús, ven, Señor Jesús. We proclaim your death, O oh Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again, until you come again. Therefore, O oh Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection, and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. Through him, excuse me, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us now pray with confidence to our Father in the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, 
who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall. As these principal ministers receive communion, allow me to give you some direction for our reception of communion as well. First of all, Michael will take a moment to offer communion to his family members who are here. And then after that, he will take a position at the back of the church in front of the baptismal font, and the bishop will be here in front of the altar. The young men, the postulants who were greeters, please follow their directions. Very simply, this north side of church will receive communion first. We ask that you make your way to the center aisle, including those who are seated on the side. Please walk across and approach communion either from Michael or from the bishop by means of the center aisle. After you've received, return to your place in a single row by way of the side aisles. Once this side is done, we will then offer communion to this side. And the same pattern applies. If everyone, this section as well as side section, would make their way to the center aisle simply walking across, you can receive from Michael in the back or the bishop in the front, returning by way of the side aisles. And simply please follow the good direction of the postulants who will assist you. Do the 
has venido a la orilla, no has buscado ni a sabios ni a ricos, tan solo quieres que yo te siga. Señor, me has mirado a los ojos, sonriendo, has dicho mi nombre, en la red. Buscaré otro mar. Lord, see my goods, my possessions. In my boat you find no power, no wealth. Will you accept me? my nets and labor. Oh Lord, with your eyes set upon me, gently smiling, you have spoken my name. All I longed for At your side, I will seek other shores. Tú necesitas mis manos, mi cansancio, que a otros descanse. Amor que quiera seguir amando. Señor, me has mirado a los ojos, sonriendo, has dicho mi nombre. drift on the waters be the resting place of my restless heart my life's companion my friend and refuge oh Lord with your eyes Gently smiling, you have spoken my name. All I long for, I have found by the water. At your side, I will seek other shore.
Let us pray. By the power of this mystery, O Lord, confirm your servants in the true faith, that they may everywhere profess in word and deed the faith for which St. Fidelis never ceased to labor and for which he spent his whole life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Can I ask you please to be seated for a few moments for some announcements? Thank you. First of all, thank you all for attending. Gracias a todos por su asistencia hoy. It's very, very nice to have you. Once again, I think because of the uniqueness of the celebration, would you please show your gratitude and your happiness with Bishop Lombardo and what he has done for us today? Please give them a wonderful round of applause. Hay un almuerzo después de la celebración. There's a lunch after this. We have lunch boxes, lunch bags for you at the entrance of the church. We have five different kinds of bags. So I'll leave it to you to peruse what you might like. It just is so foreign to us as friars not to be able to show you greater hospitality. If you wish, you are welcome to join us across the street at St. Francis Friary or up the street at St. Conrad Friary. So please, we would like to open our doors for you if you feel comfortable with that during this COVID time. There are a few moments that we will take, special moments in the ordination here. Uh, Michael is going to give the bishop a first blessing, a tradition that frequently takes place here in ordinations. And I'm going to call Paul Koenig up to do a special presentation on behalf of the people of Montana, the ministries of Montana, and the friars of Montana, whom Michael will soon be joining. Michael will be available for pictures immediately after mass outside. I took a look outside and so far the skies are holding and there's no rain. So we thought it would just make a safer environment for everyone. So as the procession leads out, you can expect Michael outside if you would like a blessing. And then following the blessings outside, Michael will come back inside for some photos with family and friends. So with that, I invite Paul to come up and then Michael would like to share a few words with us himself. Michael, my brother, and uh, Father Mike, on behalf of the uh, people of the Crow Catholic Parishes in Montana, I present you with this gift as a sign of their blessing upon you on your ordination day. The only way that I'm able to lay down here before you all, before God, is because I know that your prayers and God's grace are that which picks me up. That is the story of each of us, laying down our lives no matter our vocation so that the good shepherd of the risen Christ can raise us up in everything that we do. And so to everyone that has been part of my life in this way, you forever have my gratitude. And likewise to everyone I've known who doesn't have the power or privilege, such as myself, uh, to answer a, a vocation because of borders, uh, brokenness, biology, my heart aches, but also still hopes along with you. Most recently, for this past year, I want to thank Father O'Mero, Father Ray, Father Vito, Father Andre for your guidance in my diaconate, Professor Fregamini, for all of CTU staff, the initial formation staff, all my Capuchin brothers that are here and beyond, my provincial Mark Joseph, 
and the rest of the councils and provincial staff and many benefactors that make our life possible. A mis hermanos uh, y hermanas de la parroquia de Santa Rita in Chicago, um, uh, mirando en línea, todos ustedes están muy cerca de mi corazón por su fuerte fe y amor a Dios me han cercado a Cristo. Estoy más agradecido por ustedes. Un gran, abra, un gran abrazo a todos uh, ustedes y nunca los olvidaré. Uh, to St. To Francis of Assisi Parish for hosting us today and the musicians, uh, Brenton, um, so Sam, Maria, uh, uh, Brenton, Steve, uh, and Mike uh, for your planning behind the scenes and uh, for Daniela for reminding us that the day is always breaking in our soul. Thank you. And to all my family near and far, to my sister Janelle, to my brother Matt for your undying support, and, and especially to you, Dad, and to you, Mom, for laying your lives down for your kids so that we could all be picked up and guided by the Good Shepherd of the Risen Christ. And to the Most Holy Mystery, right? To you be all praise, glory, and honor. Thank you. Well, you're not done yet. So I'm gonna, we're going we're to test you out. Now, let's see, how, let's see if this took. All right, so I'm going to ask you for the first blessing. Almighty, loving God, who has given us a gift and Bishop Bob, please, always in your love and grace, help him to guide his flock through the good shepherd of the risen Christ. We ask this in all things. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Now you passed the big test. There you go. So you're, you're in good shape. All right, good. Please stand. Get the applause. You know, with all the applause, I think that you, Dave, and Janelle, your family that are watching from home also deserve a round of applause. There's an old saying, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. It's been my honor to be with you here today as well. Thank you very much for your kind hospitality and for the opportunity to be with you. Please bow down for the blessing. May God, who founded the church and guides her still, protect you constantly with his grace, that you may faithfully discharge the duties of the priesthood. Amen. May he make you servants and witnesses in the world to divine charity and truth and faithful ministers of reconciliation. Amen. And may he make you true shepherds to provide the living bread and word of life to the faithful that they may continue to grow in the unity of the body of Christ. Amen. And may Almighty God bless each of you who are gathered here, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. La misa ha terminado. Every praise is to our God, every word of worship with one accord. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Sing hallelujah to our God, glory hallelujah is to our God. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Every praise, 
is to our God. Every word of worship with one accord. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Sing hallelujah to our God. Glory hallelujah is to our God. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Every praise is to our God. Every word of worship with one accord. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Sing hallelujah to our God. Glory hallelujah is to our God. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Every praise is to our God. Every word of worship with one accord. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Sing hallelujah to our God. Glory hallelujah is to our God. Every praise, every praise, every praise, every praise, every praise, every praise, every praise is to our God. 